Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to this week's Headmasters blog. It's Friday the 3rd of March. Earlier this week, I had the privilege of attending the Society of Heads conference in the Carden Park Hotel in Chester. It was uh, a lovely couple of days away, uh, mingling with colleagues from uh, schools up and down the country who were brought together by the theme of conference, which was sustainability, of course, a universal topic that is very much in everybody's interest to learn more about in terms of practical ways that we can actively make a difference. And as educators, that is something that we are very much in the business of uh, with our future generations and indeed our entire school communities. Chris Packham, CBE, was the keynote speaker um, and he referenced restoration uh, as well as sustainability, about repairing the damage that we have caused. And he estimates that we require a quarter of the global population to actively make a difference in order to safeguard the planet for future generations. So together, uh, we must come together and try and make a difference. Thank you very much to Form 6B, who back at school delivered their own uh, fantastic assembly about World Complement Day. I think it ties in really neatly with the school value of integrity for this term. Just bestowing a simple compliment, uh, a kind word or phrase to somebody else can make a difference. It seals a bond of trust, it uh, instills confidence, it engenders camaraderie, and that is absolutely central to working together harmoniously. Thank you very much to uh, Mrs Bastable for putting that together. And yesterday it was World Book Day and uh, I had a little surprise as I walked into the school and suddenly saw lots of uh, wizards, uh, warlocks and witches and many other costumes as people came in uh, dressed up colourfully to celebrate this uh, very important literary festival. It is of course symbolic in the sense that we all I think find a bit of escapism from the real world with a good book and uh, we're very proud to support anything that promotes healthy reading and good habits like that. Next week, we have two very interesting speakers on Monday. Firstly, we have the rearranged visit of Will Bailey, the Paralympian, who I'm sure will share some inspirational tales from his own career with our boys and girls. And then we have Alicia Drummond in a parent workshop in the evening, and she will talk uh, very passionately about how to get the best out of your children. And if you haven't made time in your diary for that, then I strongly recommend that you do so. It will be an hour incredibly well spent and we are fortunate indeed to attract people of such caliber to come and share their wisdom and insights with us. Uh, also, some extremely good news. We were contacted by the Good Schools Guide uh, this week who would like to come and visit Kingswood House before the end of the term. Um, it will, of course, be a huge accolade if we are selected to feature in their next edition. Um, in any case, I'm very much looking forward to uh, showing a representative from the GSD around our school and um, showing off exactly what we do on a day-to-day -day basis, the positive difference we make to the lives of so many boys and girls with the care, uh, patience and kindness and friendliness that uh, Kingswood House has long been associated with. And of course, that is very much uh, something that uh, is, is symbolic, not just of of, of this office, but very much uh, a community um, affair. So very much looking forward to that. Uh, right, on to mentions in dispatches. Well done to Harris Ahmad for his descriptive poem on plants. Well done to all of year three for their assessments. Mahe Amar for being a good friend. Phoebe Whiting, great skill and determination from you when touch typing. Uh, Leo de Bleaky, well done for a random act of kindness. One of the class lost their football and a few days later, Leo brought in a brand new ball to replace the lost one. That is really kind of you, Leo. Do come and see me for a sticker. Uh, well done to Form 5F for completing their French revision so well when they had a cover lesson for Madame Swift. Phoebe Folland, always trying her best, quietly getting on with things. It isn't unnoticed, Phoebe, hence uh, your nomination today. Uh, well done to form success with great behaviour on the junior citizenship trip recently. Oscar Poole, you've had a very good week, reports Mr Barrett. Harrison Wallace, a really good recent drama performance as Romeo in their form production, says Mrs Bray. Lily Rose Mill scored a great and vital goal during a hockey fixture against the Horagians, scoring a really good win for the uh, Kingswood House team. And Sophie Teesman has represented the school admirably equally in that same hockey fixture. Uh, a bit of a playmaker, Mrs Jennings suggests. 
George Wood, great week uh, in PSHE. Aurelia Gladwell, really good defending in the hockey fixture too. And uh, a, a vote for you, uh, winning player of the match. Well done uh, to all of that hockey team. Mr. Carey, absolutely delighted, as is Mrs. Jennings, with your win. Alex Hayworth, uh, a really high mark in French for the year eight exam. Well done, says Monsieur Rajeling. Tom Reed, outstanding respect and kindness to others during form time. Daniel Giles, creating a good impression with his free writing in French. Harrison West, well done to you. Good return to the school following a period of time away, working hard to catch up. Alyssa Chung, great work as captain during the netball fixture against Box Hill and voted by the opposition as the Kingswood House player of the match. James Dowling and Max Podorichich giving up their time to help student council with Mrs Bray and year eight, some very good maths results after the recent exams, reports Mrs Lindley. Elliot Nicolau, well done for being calm and focused during study period. Avonis Bingel, consistently hardworking and respectful, reports Mrs Lindley. Josh Isles has revised a lot for his history and it's clearly borne fruit. It just shows you that sometimes you get out of, uh, of life what you put in. Sam Carroll, excellent notes in maths for Mr Barrett. And Joel Mukarati, I like this one from Joel. Uh, Joel, you know you don't always get it right, but on this occasion you really have. When one of the senior drama pupils attended theatre last week, Joel noticed an elderly lady who was struggling to get out of her wheelchair. He walked over to her, introduced himself and asked if she needed any help. And uh, the lady's daughter thanked Joel very much for his kindness. And although they could manage, she really appreciated the gesture. Joel, well done for being a good ambassador. Uh, Henry Sweetman, well done, holding the door open for teaching staff. Tommy Wood, showing real effort to find his missing Chromebook, uh, now safely returned. Fazan Jarwed, working well as well, making the most of independent study time, reports Mrs Black. Owen Courtney has taken part in the under-16s British Gymnastics Championships at Telford. I hope you can see some pictures of that in the newsletter. He finished sixth in the country in the vault, so well done to you from Mr Carey. Tarani has stepped up, uh, zipping up Oddie Ward's coat to keep him warm on the way to town leave. Uh, well, well done for being so caring, uh, Tarani. Uh, obviously, Oli was so cold, his fingers didn't work to do the zip up himself. Uh, Yasin Ali Khan, Henry Sweetman and Fazan have pushed themselves with their simultaneous equations learning. Alan Rifat, lovely feedback on how positive you have been in some of your lessons recently. And Ted Reese, we are very, very pleased to note your offer uh, from Seaford College into sick form. So uh, well done to you, Ted. Ollie Kennard has shown real resilience since the mocks and uh, working hard in his subjects. Well done, Ollie. You will get there. Keep it up. Ted Reed, noting, uh, notes to be working hard, impressing teachers. Well done to you, Ted. Jack Bunny Rames has caught up on all of his work as he, that he missed as a result of being the lead in the school production. Really good effort from you, Jack. Uh, year 11 maths class, GCSE options. Mrs Lindley's very pleased with your consistency. Keep up to date with your deadlines. And Tommy Collins and Nick Hill have put extra time and effort into their art project. Uh, and again, that has been noticed by Mrs Bastable. So as we enter the weekend, I hope that you have uh, a relaxing, restful time with your families next week. Looks like a busy one, uh, but as I say, we've got two excellent speakers coming in on Monday. Uh, we have Will Bailey, the Paralympian, and then the Parent Seminar Workshop with Alicia Drummond that is not to be missed. Please do uh, make sure that you make time to listen to her. It will be worth your time. Thank you very much.